Hello Collective, welcome to another reading. So this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. And today we're doing another collective read. We're going to use the Divine Abundance. Ha! And out of all cards that came out, it is, I don't know if you can read it, it is Divine Abundance card. <laughs> wow. It says, You were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant, not chase it. So how do you be abundant and not chase it? <laughs> I hear Shakespeare. <laughs> So that makes sense. Like I said, this is an intuitive based reading. Uh, some things, like I said, if it doesn't make sense to you, have fun throwing it out the window. If it makes sense, good. Uh, only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. So this is the card itself and the writings. Hopefully you could see it. That's amazing. So your challenge for the week, how do you learn to be abundance and not chase it? That's your challenge for the week. And put a comment below if things uh, make sense or doesn't or whatever it is. Woo! Excuse me, next card, it just flew right, right past me. Oh look, there's a bird. Literally, it flew right past me. And there's a bird on there. <laughs> it's an eagle. It says surrender. Uh, sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. Oh, <laughs> it does. The ego learns what's the hardest. To stop trying to control the whole universe. some of you if you want to know more about this as well uh, this specific uh, you can look it up uh, ego death and what that actually entails there's mis there's many different ways and uh, but follow your intuition everything can be done gradually as well all right let's see what else we got Quan Yin, Quan, Quan Yin. I keep saying it wrong, but alrighty. It's just the welcoming cards. Sweet. Let's see what we got from the Quan Yin, which are very much divine feminine energies. Nice. It is this imagery. It's like floating in the air and your head is illuminated and there's like these fluttering flutterbys. Butterflies flutterbys fluttering around her. How amazing is that? It's beautiful imagery. Now it says dance of the butterfly queen. A pure heart attracts divine grace, and that which was impossible becomes possible. From caterpillar to winged creature of delight, you cannot restrain what divine grace ordains, no matter how incredible it may seem to be. Whatever has been troubling you, or whatever has been inspiring you, allow grace to infuse the situation, or dream so... Th or situation or dream so that it may unfold with divine perfection that is an amazing message wow that is definitely beautiful all right what else do we have oh, untethered soul i like these brain teasers i call them 
see what we got for this collective here. All are welcome to watch, to listen. And like I said, I transmute energies. So it doesn't matter who watches it. Uh, I don't transmute energies alone. Okay. Alrighty. What do we have? I have a cat here. That's what I have. Your, your animals, if you have them, they're very attentive to you at this time. Uh, or if you're around animals, if you went to visit someone, their animals are attentive towards you. Listen to kind of like the message that they're trying to give to you. Okay, that's for some of you. Only take what resonates. The rest, throw it out the window. So the first one is living life. Okay, it says living life. They have each like themes. Both of them are living life. Okay. Ultimately, the only way to know about God is by letting your being merge into the being and then seeing what happens to you. So let me say it another way. Ultimately, the only way to know about the creator is by letting your being merge into the being and then seeing what happens to you. If you choose to center and not participate in the extremes, you will come to know the Tao. If you choose to center and not participate in the extremes, you will come to know the Tao. Tao is T-A-O, if you want to research that and what it means. Actually, uh, he passed away now, but Dr. Wayne Dyer had uh, looked at the teachings of the Tao for Tao for himself. And it, it was very beneficial in his life, and he spoke about it. So... Uh, for those of you that needed a reference of someone that went through it and can actually vouch for it, uh, there's still many recordings about him and everything himself speaking about it. So you take it as you will. Let's get some Moon Oracle here. What do you have for the collective? Two of them. Change. There is change happening for you at this moment. Oh, for many, for many of you, a lot of changes. There's changes in every department of life, pretty much. Uh, but most, what I do is internal readings. So there's a lot of changes happening within you. Some of these changes will have you feel all kinds of ways that you don't recognize or know about. And you may start wanting to see what that means. So uh, follow your internal guidance if you can and uh, you'll come across exactly what you need at the right moment. Okay, so change is in, in the air. And then purity. Purity of heart. Pure, undisturbed inspiration coming through. See, your eyes are blindfolded here. They're covered. But everything is being seen. So it is about the internal journey and clearing out the channel and the blockages and making your channel pure again. It all has to do with that surrender as well. And divine abundance will come in with that. All right, what else do we have? A little bit of tarot with that. Yes. Okay. Ace of Swords. Nice. The Sword of Truth. It's also an opportunity. You have what you need within you. You have it in you. Uh, when it's time to make a stand, you stand. When it's time to sit back and observe, you'll see a lot more. Um, nevertheless, you have that sword. 
you have that, how would you call it? It's very subtle at first and then you start feeling it more. There's a strength growing within you and it's a good one. It's, it has grace. It's divine abundance really, but it has grace, it has love, unconditional, uh, has compassion, integrity. This has the uh, color snake that's going around it, the infinity sign. It also means that the universe has your back, okay? And there may be an opportunity here that, because aces are opportunities, there's something that's going to happen. It could have to do with this change and this divine abundance. It may not seem like much at first, but it will grow to be something, and you'll be very happy you took that chance or for some of you you'll be very happy you took that risk now I'm playing with words because some of you don't like that word but uh, it's it's taking a leap of faith going out on a limb type of thing and uh, so you'll feel it though you won't just do it because a tower card reader told you no You'll do it because you sensed it. And you won't just keep it in your mind all day and thinking, oh, well, maybe this is what it is. I'm going to jump into this. That's not what it is either. It's when you totally forget about this. And then the moment arrives and you'll feel something and you'll just know and you'll do it because you're ready. These things only happen when you're ready. And whatever is meant for you will never pass you by because you'll have the ability to recognize it. Okay. You got awesome, excellent chances of something great happening to you. There's another ace that came out, and this time is the Ace of Wands. All right. You'll have the ability to cut, to cut through the BS. Basically, you'll recognize it ahead of time. You'll say what you want, whatever opportunity it is. If there's a, something that's presented to you, and you'll be like, no, I'm renegotiating the terms of this whatever it is, because I want this, this, that. And then there's the Ace of Wands, which represents an opportunity to go towards what you're most deeply passionate about, what you desire the most. It's, and you got one Ace after another. This is like, wow. There's something big coming for you in a good way. And now this applies to those that are looking at my channel and and I don't have to do any transmutation of energies these are these are for the people that actually listen to the channel and actually want to know uh, that actually felt led or called or they do listen and enjoy these readings this is not a message for those that after they sent their energies that I need to transmute energies Okay, it's not for you. Um, you can still listen, of course, but then you'll see the proof in the pudding when you see those that were listening because they wanted to. Um, you'll see the changes in their life. You'll see the actual changes. And you'll see what is required of you if you want to have that too. Because you won't be able to get it from any of these people that success is actually coming towards them okay i know this and some people may try to still try to try to defy that or try to prove wrong or that's totally your journey that's totally up to you just know there's always blowback on that kind of stuff and some also do certain things to prevent blowback uh but it's not going to happen this time. There's change in the air. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Haha. -ha. Well, here it is, folks. Saturn. Truth. Number six. This just confirms everything I just said. And... A lot of people that follow astrology, a lot of people have a feeling that Saturn is the a-hole of the planets, 
because it is the planet of lessons and harsh experiences types type of harsh experiences and and planet of karma and so the truth will be revealed it's amazing it's amazing how it just all fits <laughs> Let's get some Earth Goddess and Chakra cards out for extra words. And, uh, oh, look at that. There's one of my moon oracles that's in there. I must have. Let's see what it is. Ooh, nourishment. Always remember proper nourishment. Trees eat fertilizer. Fertilizer is poop, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. There's other words I could use, but um, crap, shit, you know, there's many words. So people are asking, what do you mean you transmute energies? I'm like a tree. You send crap at me. You send shit to me. You do a ceremony. You try to... Okay, sure, but I'm like a tree. And the only one that gives me the sun, the rain, the wind, everything that I need is the universe. Um, and the crap is given by you, so thank you for your support because that helps me grow. You see? You may not like what I'm saying. Partially, partially because you know it's truth. And in another sense, because you can't do nothing about it. You can, but I would not wish that on anybody what comes after. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Because I've seen it happen and I do not wash, wish these things on anybody. The level of pain and despair and just, I mean, even you want to get out of that. That's why you're watching the channel. Okay. So let's see what we got here. From the chakra and, woo, did you see that? It just flew. Straight up. Ah. Dissipating. Some people are just watching TV. They're in their comfort zone. It's pretty much what you would call same old, same old. And maybe they're okay with that. And that's what they're going to do for the rest of their days. And they'll end up looking older. And they'll end up Doing the same as what many have done in the past. And that's it. They'll wither away and be done. And it is a truth. It is a path for many. Um, Abraham Hicks says, A lot of them will croak. She uses such raw words, but it is a truth. And um, it's energies to let go of, not to go into and fall into the same traps. Um, the new energies are different. But these people here, they're just, they're comfortable. You let them be. They came here to experience. They have their own individual experience. Let them be. Growth comes with... And this person is older. Maybe they're just fed up with it. And they're just going to stay in their comfortable zone. And just never mind the rest of the world. Maybe there's some wisdom in that. 
a lot of us that do a healing journey for a while, we tend to go in hermit mode and we kind of sit there, get in a comfortable zone. And, but then something inside after a while, and it allows us time to heal, right? Uh, but if you stay stuck there too long, then you'll just grow old and pass away. Um, but uh, for most of us, a lot of us now actually, we take that time for healing. And then after that, we're like, we get, we feel the stagnancy. We get fed up with our own procrastination. We, there's something that's, we get kind of anxious. It's because we got to start moving. The, the universe giving us a nudge. Okay, time to get out of your comfort zone. Now, if you're not listening to those first little messages, then some a tower moment, right? Something will happen and you, you'll have to move. <laughs> so pay attention to the little signs. Just a little bit, right? Just listen to the intuitive promptings. This is what starts igniting it within you, your passions. When you start moving forward, you start doing your passions. Now, some of you may want to help some, like that are, you know, let's say she's living at a, uh, a foyer, an old folks home, or, and, and you know, you can feel it. They're just, they're just dull. They're just, there's no life in them. They feel like they have no purpose, but maybe some of you, the passion will be there to come in and read a book to them or come in. If you're a musician, play a little bit of music and, you know, that compassion. So helping each other out instead of judging and criticizing and all that other stuff that used to be part of the human experience and now nobody wants that really. And those that still do want it or are still instigating it, they haven't learned. that They're missing a few teachings. And I'll get there too. I have faith in the universe, which means I have faith in you. What else do we got? Ooh, it flipped and came back. It flipped. One sticking out. Okay, I'll take that one. I thought one flipped in there as I was shuffling. It flipped and went back in. Yeah. Double check. It flipped and went back in. Great. There. Self-worth. Ignite. Nourish. Okay, here we go. Give nourishment to your passion to bring up your self-esteem, your self-worth, and all that bad energy, all that was blocking you will dissipate. Okay, sometimes just a word, and you, as it dissipates, you're going to create that purity within. You'll be able to see more. You'll start seeing the truth of things. You'll create those changes, especially Especially after you start surrendering to that which you are. First, discover who you are and what you be. <laughs> so this has been your reading collective. Thank you so much for all my watchers. Friends in high places, friends in low places, it don't matter. We're all in the same boat, really. Now we help each other out or we tear each other down. I'd rather help each other out and the best way to do that is to help myself first. All right, lead by example. So this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles and we'll see you next time.